It started as a reaction to the World Trade Center attacks and became a passion. John Whalen gave up fossil fuels and went electric. Now he's pushing the envelope to see just how fast you can go on a spark and a prayer. So I call this segment Plasma. P L A S M A Plasma Boy. That's my name. Ten years ago, somebody told you they had an electric muscle car. They go, <laughs> they just, you know, they go nuts, right? Now when you say, I've got an electric muscle car, they go, oh, are you that one? You're the one that kicked, kicked that big block of butt. We have the opportunity to replace 844 pounds of lead with 175 pounds of lithium batteries. It's like, you know, it's the arc of, of the company. That's what it is. This pack is made for a motorcycle. So we prepared our car by putting a flat panel here that's reinforced to be strong. We'll drill some holes, put it together, lower the car. So we're going to go to the track with this pack completely untested. That's racing. We're chasing our own record because we already own the street legal record, but we're never satisfied with what we have. We're always pushing the envelope because we're trying to get people to notice the electric car. We finally broke into the 11s uh, three weeks ago. We're very excited about that, but now with this um, top secret lithium pack, it'll certainly run a very low 11-second uh, quarter mile. Anybody with a uh, beefed up Camaro should be afraid. You know, they should be very afraid. These two items right here will conduct about 350 horsepower. You know, some guys make fuel lines, we make cables. They are just awesome. Listen to that sound, listen to that. The sound of electric horsepower. This is the conduit from battery to the motor controller. That's kind of amazing that this will take out a big block 454. I love it. Okay, we're going, we're good, let's hit the track. It's alive, guys, it's alive. At the track, we're going to kind of start off slow, turn down the current, and get a feel for the new car. We fully think the car can probably hit 125 and a quarter mile, and even though speed isn't our goal, we're trying to get a time. We try, it's how quickly you get there. We want people to be kind of like worried when they show up, see an electric car pull up next to them. How do you deal with instantaneous torque when you've got this motor, you got to rev up? And Where's the power band? And all these, you know, exploding dinosaur juice and stuff, and we just sit there and go, and we have it instantly. We have to look for it. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woohoo! That's what you call lighting them up. A perfect burn off, that's exactly what I wanted, and we got a 13 once. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just crank it up a little bit now. Yeah, go clear up to 900 now. I just wanted to see how it launched. This is a contactor. It's got a set of tips in there that break the contact between these two posts. This is our main battery cable coming in through the controller. This is our speed controller. Over here, more contactors for our series parallel shifting, which shifts the motors electrically, so we don't need a transmission. When we're already up to speed, we don't need the torque. We just need the speed out of the motors. When it does flash over, we get arcs from either the motor housing or the brush springs. Usually something fails and just turns into a plasma ball. You see sparks shooting out the bottom and lots of brush material goes away and it just uh, pieces right out of it. <laughs> The strategy is because we don't know this car now. It's come so different with a lighter pack, with, with all this weights out of the car, different gear ratio. We didn't want to get too crazy and have a, a dangerous situation, so we turned it way down. We normally run about 1,000 battery amps. We programmed it to only 500, so that's half the power. So now we're going to crank up the battery amps a little bit, and this will, this will print us right down into the 12s right away. This piece right here is another one of our safety features. It's an emergency disconnect that reach from here. If something does fail and the car goes full on, we can disconnect this and it kills all power from the motor. We have almost 800 foot-pounds of torque, so yeah, your brakes aren't going to hold it back. So we're getting ready to make the third run. Uh, I've made the command decision not to turn it up because we just did an 11.8 and it may get a little quicker just on its own. What we're doing this time, we're not turning anything up, but the batteries have warmed up. So it'll probably be an 11.7. I'll take that. We're trying not to go through 11.5 because it'll throw us off the track without a roll bar. Yeah! We did 11.9 and 
105, but we still took out the Mustang, so that's cool. First thing we want to do is get it on charge to freshen up the batteries for the next run. So we always like to freshen them up between runs. These lithium batteries are so powerful, we could actually make several runs without charging, but we prefer to keep them at the top of their game. We're pumping air into the lithium patch to kind of cool it down just a little bit, get it to the right temperature so we can go out and make another run. Here it comes. We'll say 11.65. Let's see here. 110.76. 11555. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! You know, we just sneaked it. We just snuck it in. Woo! Yeah! DC rules!